Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric Bravo and this is a storyboard room. A place where I talk about the business of animation and how to get in. I made the Nickelodeon cartoon short The Outsiders and wrote the book How to Get an Animation Internship. I'm currently a script coordinator production assistant on the show Rise of the TMNT. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about qualities major animation studios look for when considering hiring an intern. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're interested in being a part of the animation industry, internships are the best way to get your foot in the door. And if you're able to score an interview, you might be wondering what qualities do these studios look for when being considered for an internship position. Before we get into that, I'm going to be talking about what the process is for hiring interns for a production. So what is the process of hiring interns? After your application is submitted, the recruiting department will go through each and every application and will handpick potential resumes that they feel will fit with the studio's culture and the production. The recruiting team will then hand over a stack of potential interns resumes to a show's production manager or PM. The show's PM will either interview everyone from that stack or will filter down that stack even more depending on how busy the show's production is. So if you get an interview, here are some qualities major animation studios look for. A note taker. This may seem simple but taking notes during your interview is essential. It shows that you are actively engaged and care about the information that they are telling you. Always take notes and if it's a virtual interview, let them know that you're taking notes so it doesn't seem like you're messing around or not paying attention. Be willing to learn. They want to know that you're open to learning during the internship program, that you're volunteering for tasks that are outside your comfort zone, willing to make mistakes but learn from them. They don't want someone who is going to get the internship and relax but not actively learning about animation, the department that you're in, and your role. And just be willing to do whatever task no matter how big or small the task may be. Don't be an intern who is too good for something. You know, they do understand that some internships tasks can be tedious and repetitive, so they want to make sure that you're willing to do whatever task is asked of you with a positive attitude. There's been stories where some interns think they're too good for a certain task, like photocopying something, and they approach it with a negative attitude. And this shows, and the chances are, you won't be recommended for a job at that studio. They're looking for someone who asks questions. Before the interview, make a list of questions that you want to know about the internship program the studio and even the interviewees about asking questions that you generally want to know the answers to. This shows that you take this interview seriously and that you want to know how this program will help you. Remember, interviews are a two-way street. They want to know more about you, but you also want to know more about them to see if they are a good fit for you as well. These are a few qualities that studios look for in an internship interview. If you got something from this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos on how to get into the animation industry. Also, if you get an interview, just know that you are qualified, so be proud of that. Sometimes, if you don't get the internship, remember that things are entirely out of your hand. From the production's point of view, they're considering what's going on in the pipeline during the time the intern will be interning with them. If the intern is interested in storyboards and our episodes are in post, the internship program is not going to benefit them. If you'd like to learn more about how to get an animation internship, be sure to check out my book link below where I dive deep discussing how to set your application apart, how to tailor your resume and cover letters for success, and I even go into some interview questions that you could be asked. I hope this helps. Until next time, stay tuned. See you guys. Bye.